Is this the video that proves a conspiracy to kill JFK? Well, it's the 50th anniversary of the assassination of John F. Kennedy. And while many of you will be familiar with the Zapruder film, this less known footage has still caused enduring debate for years. With the question being asked, was there a Secret Service stand-down order in the moments immediately prior to the assassination of JFK. This is Secret Service agent Don Lawton and over here sat in the vehicle behind President Kennedy's vehicle as it turns into Dealey Plaza is the guy who was in command of him, Secret Service agent Emery Roberts. First watch the left hand side of your screen coming up watch Roberts. He appears to beckon Lawton away from the vehicle gives him a hand sign right there play that again watch Roberts give him the hand signal to back away from President Kennedy's vehicle right here there see it again one more time there okay now watch the reaction of Lawton, the Secret Service individual, who is apparently following this order to back away from President Kennedy's car. Gets the order there, shrugs his shoulders three times, holds his arm out, seemingly perplexed at the order given by Emery Roberts to back away from the vehicle. See it again. And if you'll notice, the other people in the Secret Service vehicle also seem somewhat perplexed that this order to apparently stand down back away from the vehicle has been given. Now watch their reaction as Lawton expresses his amazement. Does this represent a Secret Service stand down order to back away from President Kennedy's car? in order to ensure that he had no human shield, no bodyguard, and therefore making it far more likelier that the assassin, whoever that was, was able to get a direct, clear shot on the president. Here we see Lawton stood in what would normally be considered routine operating procedure, his position to the rear right of the vehicle in which President Kennedy sits, this was photographed four days before in Tampa. So there you see Lawton riding on the back of the vehicle in an open top car as Kennedy travels through Tampa. And as this illustration depicts, if the two Secret Service agents had been riding in their usual position to the rear of the presidential vehicle, then the assassin, if the shot was coming from behind, according to the official story, would not have had anywhere near as clear a shot onto Kennedy. In fact, if Lawton had been in position, he would have probably been hit by the bullet, at least the first bullet, if you believe it was fired from the school book depository by Lee Harvey Oswald. Besides the question of who fired the bullet, there's no doubt that those bodyguards would have made it more difficult for an assassin to target President Kennedy. Yet, they weren't in the correct position, as we saw before with the Tampa photo, as well as these photos here. There's a platform and a handrail where the Secret Service agent would normally ride on the back of the vehicle for the security of the President. When JFK was assassinated, literally seconds beforehand, that protection evaporated as the Secret Service agents, Lawton and Clint Hill, seen here on the left, were apparently told to stand down, much to the amazement of Lawton himself and the other people in the vehicle. And here you see the um, platform on the back of the vehicle and the handrail where the Secret Service agents would normally stand. So how did the Secret Service members who were there at that moment 
respond to these allegations that they were involved in some kind of stand-down order which left the president open to be assassinated. Well, Clint Hill, who of course appeared in the infamous Zapruder footage here, reaching out to Jackie Kennedy, he was on the left backside of the uh, presidential vehicle. He retreated to the Secret Service car just before Don Lawton did. He appeared on C-SPAN last month, and this is the explanation he gave for the charge that the Secret Service were involved in a stand-down order and that Lawton was told in the footage we just saw to back away from the vehicle. As you watch this scene for the final time, ask yourself, is this the kind of conduct you would expect from an agency that routinely sends an advance team to a city a month or more prior to the president's arrival in order to make preparations? 